Welcome to Melbourne Private Apartments, where luxury is the standard right here in Docklands. My name is Lana Murphy, and today I'm joined by two very impressive young women, Linda and Brenda Fervatova. They are Czech tennis rising stars, and they are guests of Melbourne Private Apartments. Thank you so much for joining me, girls. Thanks for having us. It looks like it's going to be an amazing year of tennis for both of you. What are you most excited about, I guess, in the next 12 months? Um, yeah, just the new season, you know, it's start of the new season and uh, yeah, I just qualified for my uh, first ever main draw Grand Slam, so that's pretty big and yeah, I'm just excited about the whole year and the upcoming season. The fifth youngest person to ever qualify in a main draw of the Australian Open, how incredible is that? Um, it's really incredible. It's actually unbelievable because in the second match I was minus set and won five so I was already going home. But yeah, then I just came back so and now I'm in the main draw so it's pretty unbelievable. And to just make it even sweeter, you're doing it right here with your, your big sister. How does that feel for you two to be together? Oh, it feels amazing because last year we were uh, separate a lot because we had totally different schedules and we couldn't wait to finally travel together and play some tournaments together. So yeah, this is a dream come true. And what's it like for you girls staying here, I imagine, with your family and with your teams here at Melbourne Private Apartments? How are you finding the accommodation? Oh, we're finding it awesome because you know, it's very different from other places when where we're just close in a hotel room, you know, it feels really nice to have the whole family together and, uh, you know, kind of feel like home and, uh, yeah, it's very cozy and calm, so we love it. What's it like having the beautiful view too, you know, right here in the Docklands, you've got the water, you've got the city, you can kind of see everything. Yeah, that's true, the, the views are amazing and uh, I think that's one of the best views we've ever had, so... Uh, yeah, we, we, would, we would just sit, you know, on the balcony and watch the sunset or look at the water and yeah, it's really nice. Have you guys had a chance to use any of the facilities yet, like the pool or the spa or the gym or anything yet? Yeah, just yesterday we did like a recovery day, so we used the steam room and the pool, so I think it's pretty amazing to have that here too and uh, it's really good for us athletes, you know, to recover well. Beautiful. Um, how are you finding Melbourne? I mean, you were you here last year, Linda? I was here once three years ago. Three years ago, yeah. yeah. So you've had a little bit of experience, but is this your first time here, Brenda? No, second. second. I was here uh, 2017. Okay. But just to watch Australian Open, mm. but just for four days, so I didn't see much. Are you planning on, you know, heading out, being tourists for a little bit if you can? Do you want to actually enjoy the city? I mean, we definitely want to enjoy the city because uh, we love the city, you know, it's beautiful and not too crowded, you know, it's, it's great. And we, we went to the Sky Deck one day and that was pretty exciting and uh, yeah, we hope we can do some more <laughs> while we're here. Yeah. Any, uh, any restaurants or anything on the bucket list that you need to get to? Are you just going to explore and hope for the best? Yeah, explore and hope for the best. <laughs> but yesterday we had like a team dinner by the water, so it was pretty cool, so yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's really cool. Now, I hear a little birdie tells me that uh, you guys, at least professionally, have never actually played each other. Is that correct? Uh, well, we played each other in juniors, mm -hmm. but not in on a women's tour, so. How do you think you'd fare if that happens? Because I feel like inevitably it's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's <laughs> unavoidable probably one day. But um, I mean, you know, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> and you just have to play the match and go for it. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, I mean, we have a great relationship and we practice together sometimes. We, we're playing doubles together. So um, I don't think it should affect our relationship. I mean, of course it's com un uncomfortable, you know, for us, for our parents, but uh, I mean, 
it, it comes with it, so. <laughs> There's probably no better opponent that you know better, you know, you've played each other a million times casually, I'm sure, right? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, but we definitely prefer to play doubles together yeah. than stick to a being a team against each we other. Yeah. Uh, are there any players that you guys have in mind in particular that you think that's the person I want to be like? That's who I'm modeling my tennis career off. I don't feel like we're modeling someone really, but um, we've always looked up to the best, you know, like Roger Federer, Serena Williams, and yeah. You can't beat them really, can you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it sounds like you're going to make absolute names for yourselves, you know, in your own right. You guys have been, you know, playing incredible tennis in the last couple of years. I'm sure your entire life, but we've only been paying attention for the last couple of years and we're really, really excited for your future. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, girls.